Hello friends, this video on electric current and its effects part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk a bit more about electrons because electrons are like uh, they play the leading role in the concept of electric current. So before we talk about electrons, let's see from where the concept of electrons come into picture. Now anything that we see around us, anything, whether it is the chair, it is the table, it is the cat, it is the, uh, the fire, windows, clock or whatever, whatever we see around us, what are they? They are nothing but matter. Whether it is living organism or it is a non-living organism, everything that we see around us is matter. So anything that we see around us is matter. So matter is something that occupies some space. For example, if you look at this chair, this chair occupies some space, even though the chair is a non-living object. Similarly, when you look at the cat, the cat also occupies some space and this is a living object. So all of these are examples of matter. Now, when you see what is matter made up of, we see that matter is made up of molecules. Now, let us take examples of some molecules. For example, let's say water. Water is a molecule. So one molecule of water, like several molecules of water might uh, result in a good amount of water. So basically the molecule water is nothing but H2O. So here you can see this big ball is O and the smaller balls are the hydrogen, two hydrogen and one oxygen. So that's H2O. Similarly, you have different types of molecules. It may be methane, ethane, they're all molecules. Now, when you look at the composition of the molecules, you see that the molecules are made up of atom. So each molecule, so here you have, the, when you think of the water molecule, you see that the water molecule in turn are made up of atoms, that is hydrogen and oxygen. So these are the atoms of which the molecules are made up of. And finally, when you look at the composition of atom, you see that atom is made up of three types of particles. And those three types of particles are proton, neutron and electron. So these are the three types of particles which form atom. So when you look at the structure of atom, you see that there is a central core which can which is positively charged and this central core of the atom is called nucleus and nucleus contains two types of particles that is proton and neutron. So protons are positively charged particles and neutrons are neutral. Therefore the net charge of the core or the net charge of the nucleus is positive. Whereas electrons are negatively charged particles and the electrons they revolve in this orbits. So if you see the electrons are not present inside the nucleus, they are present outside the nucleus and they keep moving around the nucleus. The way different planets revolve around the sun, in a similar way here electrons revolve around the nucleus. So now here if you compare the three particles that is electron, proton and neutron. So out of these three only one is mobile, only one is capable of moving from one place to another and that is electron. As you can see here also the electron is moving around the nucleus and this movement of electrons result in electric current. So the concept of electric current is very similar to the concept of say water current. So when we talk about water current, it is nothing but the flow of water. So when water flows at a very high speed, the current that is generated is termed as water current. In a similar way, flow of electrons constitute the electric current. So this is where the electrons lie and this, from, this is where from which the electron have been picked. So we are now going to discuss something even more interesting. So we are going to talk about the direction of flow of electric current. So we saw that electric current is nothing but flow of electrons. Now the question is how do we know which is the uh, direction of electric current? Now you might think that that's going to be quite obvious, the direction in which the electrons are flowing, that should be the direction of electric current. But what happened was there, there happened some confusion with regards to the direction of electric current. Before the electrons were discovered, so 
so that time the scientists thought that the flow of charges which constitute current those charges are not electrons but protons because that time electrons were not at all discovered so nobody knew what are electrons so they thought that since there are some charges flowing so these charges could be protons now what are protons i discussed in the previous slide right they are positively charged particles so these scientists said that the direction of the electric current is going to be the direction of the flow of protons but later when electrons were discovered it was found that it was not the protons but it were the electrons which constitute electric current so basically now we have two different uh, you know like methods of uh, determining the direction of current so one direction which was the conventional method or the traditional method which people got used to since long time so that is why that that current is termed as conventional current so as per conventional current it it was assumed that protons are the uh, charges which constitute electron uh, which constitute electric current and therefore the direction of electric current would be from the positive terminal towards the negative terminal of the cell or the battery so basically when you look at a circuit so you will have a battery and if you ever observe closely you will be able to see a plus sign and a minus sign of the battery which denotes the positive and the negative terminal of the battery so now since we are saying that electric current is all about flow of protons so when we say that in the uh, in conventional current that means positively charged particles will come out from the positive end so that means the direction of conventional current should be from positive terminal towards negative terminal on the contrary when we talk about electronic current so here the direction of current would be just the opposite that is from negative terminal towards the positive terminal because in this case we are assuming that electrons are the carriers of current now if you ask about which one is correct so basically the later concept which came up that was correct because actually these are the electrons which constitute current and not protons but since the method of conventional current was being followed since long time therefore in order to avoid any confusion conventional current direction is followed so that is why whenever you will see that we draw a circuit when we have to mention that okay current flows through the circuit we will always show it flowing from the positive terminal towards the negative terminal so please understand this that that doesn't mean that protons are flowing basically electron basically current is the flow of electrons but just to follow the convention it is always said that the current flows from the positive terminal of the battery towards the negative terminal in a circuit so that is the confusion about the direction of electric current and that is why we have discussed this so basically electronic current means here electrons are constitute electric current that is electrons are the carriers and in conventional current it was assumed that protons are the one which flows and constitute electric current thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.